What's going on guys? This is SP Architect. Today I'm going to answer a question you asked me in the comment section last days, which is how to model a wave-shaped steel roof. Let's get into the modeling. To make a shape something like that, we need to make a spline for that. Let's go to spline tool. Sketch that shape on the floor plan. For example, like this one. Maybe this is going to be a smoother spine. After doing this, I alt click this spine and make a new one. This is going to be similar but different splines. We are going to make a shell between these two splines. We are going to use magic wand tool for this. In order to achieve that, I go to this shell tool and I hit the spacebar and click. I want this, for example, 10 meter. By the way, this millimeter. And I hit the space again. Click this. It's going to snap that spline also. By the way, let's go to options, preferences, working units, and centimeter. Okay. Let's look at what we have in 3D. As you can see, this is the main shape that you asked me. But we need to put inside some glasses and steel and steel structures. To do that, at very first, I'm going to rotate this shell. I'm going to rotate this on this x-axis. To rotate that, I click and go to editing plane. Click vertical and then we can see this editing plane. First, I make a line. Then input the rotating axis. Minus 90 and enter. Here we have the main roof shape and maybe we can extend this profile a little more. I click here and drag profile horizontally is active. After that in the X axis let's input here 2 meters maybe 1 meters too. It looks better for now. Pick plane, then I click this face. As you can see, this working plane aligned to face V click. Now we can rotate this one better this way. I click reference corner and target corner and align to horizontal view. For the thickness, I'm going to uncheck this one, click this basic one, and as you know that this is going to be a steel structure, I click the steel. For the thickness, I input here 15 centimeters. Once we did that, we are going to model these grid lines. We are going to use wall tool for this shape. Also, we can do that this beam tool. The choice is yours, you can do both. Okay, let's go to floor level. We can also rotate this one to horizontal axis. Let's get rid of this. I click the wall tool, basic wall, and for the thickness, this input here 12. At very first, I'm going to make borders. Complete the shape. Let's go to 3D. Click this wall. We are going to fix this height. 
Ctrl plus T and click top link, select not linked, input here, for example, 4 meters, OK. Once we have this, I'm going to carry this shell to upper story. There will be a building in this level. At least it's going to be in the story one. We are also increase the height of the wall. Click the suspend group and click the point. Click the stretch height to here. Now this time we are going to make grease for this. I'm just going to alt click this wall. After that I change the wall thickness as 10 cm. But in order to do that, let's make a new one. From here I make a new straight wall with shift key. And maybe to here, control plus U, click and 120. OK. We can delete this first and last profile wall. Select these walls. Copy rotate. You can do this by right clicking and move and Rotate a copy. We made this grid boss. We are going to intersect these with shell. But before, let's see what we have in 3D. Okay, I want to select all of the walls. I alt click one of them and press Ctrl plus A from keyboard. Right click and go connect. Then click Solid Element Operations. When all the walls selected, I'll click this get target. For the operation, I choose Intersection. I select the shell and assign it to operator from here. Make sure this intersection selected and go for Execute. As you can see, we made the roughly shape and next part is making glass panel for this. It will be a mistake to select this shell and change its material. I'll show you why. Let's assign a glass. We have intersection problems right now. It's flickering and also the thickness of the glass will cause a problem. Instead of doing this, I will go for another way. Let's undo and copy this shell to higher level. For instance, 2 meters. After that, I click the old shell and go to layers from here. Then I will select hidden. We hide this one. Let's select the new shell and return it back to old position. That was 2 meters down. We can change its thickness like a glass panel. 2 cm and also we can change the structure to glass. We can also reduce with the height of another 5 cm down. Let's go to plan view. Click the shell and select the define shell contour. We will offset the edges to inside.
Here we also have some problems with the contour steels. They need to be trimmed. To fix that, we will use adjust command. I'm just going to go to plan view, then select these walls, click adjust from here. Let's also adjust this side too. Okay, this seems cleaner now. Yeah, we have done this nicely, but we need a big important thing for this one, which is a building. We can do this with simple walls or use the curtain wall to make it more convenient. I just go to plan view and select the curtain wall tool. Go to settings. You can also use favorite menu if you prepared any before. I have a tutorial for that if you want to watch. At this moment I'm not going to select any of this. I will go for basic setup. OK. From this part I set the speed higher because I explained the main subject of the tutorial. I made a basic rectangle building with curtain wall tool. Once I did that, I flipped the direction and fixed the offset distance. I did this from this curtain wall system menu, frames part and from this panel box. For a convenient aluminum setup, I deleted the unnecessary frames and changed the first height frame. For the site details, I went to custom grid options and fixed them separately. For the canopy, I added two columns and made them slot convenient with the roof. Ok, I think that's all it for now. You know how to model a curved and organic shape structure. And of course this can be improved. There are also other ways to make this design. For example, you can combine with grasshopper and make amazing and crazy shaped panels roof designs. This is the final model of the building, which contains topography, side walls and slope curtain wall. Ok, if you want to watch how I made this and full of the video, you can just go to my Patreon link. You can also find full version of the videos, I'll upload them and you can download project files as well as other projects. Thank you for watching, do not forget to like and subscribe because I am going to make tutorials like this often. Until that time, just keep creating.